What is up, bros and broets? I am Ink Slasher, and today we're going to be looking at one of the weirdest weapons in Black Ops 3. And not weird because it has weird stats or has any weird behavior. I am saying weird because this weapon, by some people, is absolutely loved and said to be one of the best weapons in the game, and by others, said to be a steaming piece of shit. Why? Well, that's what this video is going to be about. This video is going to answer the question, how good is the XR2? And we are going to be looking at stats, a best class setup, and finally answering the question, exactly how good is it? So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you like the video, it would be absolutely fantastic if you'd hit that like button. But without further ado, let's get into talking about the XR2. Now, first things first, what is this weapon and how does it work? So, this is a burst action assault rifle that is a high damage low er fire rate assault rifle the reason why i say low er is because it still has a pretty damn good fire rate as we're going to find out in a bit but compared to the m8a7 it is slower now this weapon is a god tier weapon when it comes to hardcore whereas opposed to core it's kind of more average with some other weapons in hardcore however it is a beast and a half because it is always a one bullet kill even when the weapon is suppressed. So that's pretty beastly there. Whereas if we look at core, it doesn't have anything super fantastic like that. But no, if you're a hardcore player, this is definitely a weapon you are going to want to be using. But let's set hardcore aside and focus on core and start looking at these stats. So probably the best stat on the XR2 is its damage profile. So as far as the damage profile goes, it is a three to a four bullet kill. So 40 damage up close, 30 at long range. Just two damage profiles which is a little bit rare in this game however some weapons do have it especially when you look at lmgs this however is an assault rifle with that so it's an incredibly cool stat now it drops from a three to a four bullet kill at 37.5 meters now something to note here if you throw on long barrel that over doubles and you were looking at over a range of a three bullet kill at over 70 meters, which is just insane. So using long barrel on this really extends that three bullet kill. Why is that important? This is a three round burst weapon. So obviously because of that, long barrel is definitely a good attachment on there. But the noteworthy points on there are, is that you are looking at an incredibly, incredibly good damage profile ranging from a three to a four bullet kill normally dropping off at 37.5 meters. So the next most important thing to look at is the fire rate. Now there's two aspects to look at fire rate when looking at burst fire weapons. There's the base fire rate and then the overall fire rate. So the base fire rate that the three bullets come out of the weapon at is an 857 RPM. Now I know I said this is a slow firing weapon and it's not because of that stat. It's because of the burst delay. It has a good solid chunk of burst delay and with that, with adding in the burst delay, the RPMs drop down to 439. Now that's calculated in with the burst delay. So it has incredibly long burst delay and a decent fire rate for the first three bullets. So if you're able and in that three bullet kill range, it has an incredibly fast time to kill. Speaking of time to kill, guess what? At almost every single range on the map for assault rifles, this has the fastest time to kill. Faster than the MNA7, faster than the KN44, this weapon has the fastest time to kill because of that three bullet kill range is so large, and on top of that, the three bullets fire at 857 RPM, if you hit those three bullets, it's almost guaranteed a kill. And that's why you're watching this gameplay here. You're going to see so many one bursts that I get in this gameplay. I think I dropped like 52 kills in a kill confirmed, which is decent, but with the XR2, it's so easy to get those burst kills when people are running at you like that because it's so frequently going to be a one burst kill. And that's something that makes this weapon fantastic is that three burst and the three bullet kill range combined with a fast fire rate of those first three bullets the thing that kills people is the burst delay now this can be fixed just a little bit by in fact by 12 percent by rapid fire which we're going to talk about when we talk about the best class setup for this weapon when looking at the rest of the stats for the xr2 we see very very average things for example the amount of bullets in a magazine is 30. This is really, really average for assault rifles in this game. In fact, this is pretty decent because when looking at a burst fire weapon, you take the amount of bullets in the magazine divided by the amount of bullets in a burst, so 30 rounds in the magazine divided by three rounds 
in a burst gives you 10 bursts out of a magazine. That's actually pretty solid for a burst fire weapon. Now on top of that we can look at something like aim down sights, uh, aim down sights time, sorry, and the aim down sights time is 0.25 seconds. Again, very, very average for an assault rifle. In fact, most of the assault rifles have that aim down sights time. It's a little bit weird when you look at the reload speed because the reload speed with bullets still in the magazine it's two seconds which is actually the best in class but then when you go and look at it with an empty magazine it's three seconds which is the worst in class so you always want to be reloading this weapon with bullets still in the magazine as opposed to an empty magazine because it reloads so much slower when you have that empty magazine. Just a little tip of information uh, you can use when using the XR2. Uh, also hip spread, again, very, very average for this weapon. Uh, 3.5 inches up uh, when not moving or at a minimum and at a maximum seven inches, which again, very, very average for this class. So the thing you can take away from this is it has a great time to kill with a great damage profile. Throwing on long barrel really, really helps and the rest of the stats are just a very, very average for the Assault Rifle class. So, with these stats, what can we take away? Two things, and two things alone, and they basically tie right into the best class setup. It has a large, large burst delay. That is the worst aspect of this weapon, and the best aspect of the weapon is the fact that it has this awesome damage profile where it's either a three or a four bullet kill and you can make that three bullet kill that much larger while using long barrel so if we wrap this up all into one and create a class for it what is the best class out of first of all this weapon doesn't have a ton of recoil so instead of using a grip just use a boa the boa three is awesome it not only reduces recoil but it gives you an awesome red dot sight essentially because let's face it the iron sights on the xr2 suck so adding the boa fixes some recoil and makes it easier to aim because the iron sights suck on top of that if you use a long barrel and rapid fire it makes this weapon godly because that extends the three bullet kill range to a massive distance and the rapid fire decreases that burst delay by 12 percent and like i said the worst stat on this weapon is that burst delay so improving that is a really big deal on top of that i like to use the quick draw grip because i find snapping onto targets is very very important and there is my class setup on top of that if you're wondering about perks i find perks in this game are a very personal preference kind of basically going on what you want to counter so for example if you're in a lobby with a bunch of people using grenades for the love of god use flak jacket if you're in a normal lobby i like to use six cents ghost fast hands because i do like to sprint with this weapon especially when i'm playing a game like kill confirmed like i am in this game and then finally i use blast suppressor just to stay off that mini map if you're using this class in hardcore um, I use the pretty much the exact same thing, but throw a suppressor on just so you're off that mini map that much more. So to answer the question, how good is the XR2? You need to look at two things. First of all, it has the best, the best time to kill out of any of the assault rifles for an extremely long range. And if you throw on long barrel, it extends that fastest time to kill that much further. It's th it is like that because it has a long three bullet kill range with a three round burst weapon that has a decent speed of bullets coming out of that weapon the worst aspect of this gun is the burst delay overall i give this weapon a solid 8.5 maybe even a 9 out of 10 because of that super fast time to kill some people complain and the reason why they say they don't like this weapon is simply because it's a burst fire weapon which means that burst delay if you don't get your bullets on targets is killer if you can't get your bullets on target a burst fire weapon is simply not for you if you have good aim this is a weapon you 100 percent want to give a try but that's all I have to say about this weapon. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, it would be fantastic if you could leave a like rating. And if you're new to the channel, I would love it. Love it if you could subscribe to the channel. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. And if that sounds like it's something for you, there's a red button below this video with your name on it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my Twitch and Twitter down in the description. And until next time, guys, a peace out.